After an absolutely gorgeous day following the Black River, Jordan and I headed southeast towards the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument, an hour north of Silver City, New Mexico. We spent an evening at the Cosmic Campground before a quick stop at Walmart to restock and buy some new Crocs. We even spotted some wildlife on our way down. The one hour drive north from Silver City is extremely curvy and I would recommend completing it during daylight hours. Howdy folks, I'm Eric. I'm Jordan. And this is North American Adventures. Thanks for clicking the video. You join us today in the Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. We got the trail just behind us. It is just over a mile loop, up 300 feet in elevation. There's supposedly a lot of stairs going up there, but there should be a lot of cool stuff to see. So we're gonna get going right away. The Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument was established by President Theodore Roosevelt through executive proclamation on November 16, 1907 to protect Mogollon Cliff Dwellings in the Gila Wilderness. Yeah, let's hit it. The landscape ranges in elevation from 5,700 to 7,300 feet above sea level and follows the west and middle fork of the Gila River. The terrain is rugged and arid forested mostly by ponderosa pine and douglas fir. got a lovely little introductory speech from volunteer Gordon at the trailhead. You can see we've been following this little creek here for quite some time, crossing back and forth on these bridges. The cliffs are right above us, so I imagine we'll be turning right soon and taking the stairs. Big cliff overhang. Here we come, dwellings. You can see into the dwellings there, straight ahead. We are very excited to see the inside. Getting closer. the beginning folks. The dwellings are just around the corner. We've made it to the cliff dwellings, built in the 1200s by the Mogollon people, under the side of the cliffs here. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish we could get in and see what it looks like, but this is what we got for now. We're gonna try to stick the tripod in. Oh yeah, check out that view. <laughs> We're in luck folks, you get to go in.
little fire thing. This is almost like, dare I say it, but like a, what do they call? Amphitheater. Oh, I see what you mean. Almost like an amphitheater setup. Yeah. The, the tiny version. The tiny, tiny version. The rustic version. It's like the main hall area. Everybody comes up in through here. It's quite large. You'd sleep a lot of people here. A whole town, maybe. A lot of bodies. <laughs> a lot of bodies. <laughs> And down into it. Like up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's more to come. Nice. Definitely check it out from your angle. Yes, sir. It's a recording. Climbing the ladder. Got some more rooms here. Pretty comfy living, I must say. Yeah, this is a sweet place to have it. Oh, yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. There's a bunch of corn in there. Oh, it's like an old granary. I guess, maybe, like storage. Yeah, interesting. It's very cool. Take a peek. Show the people. There's more corn or maize sort of sprinkled here. On the other side, it was like a granary box or like a mini silo. That's probably what this was too. Ricky. <laughs> I want to see too. Hello, anyone home? <laughs> wow, this is sweet. Look at how the walls are. They've definitely reinforced them, like the people that... Yeah, the that would be from the parks for sure. Yeah, but the, it's still sick. Yep. I bet this is all food storage. Good food, food, food. Nice cool spot. Yeah. We continue. Got some more rooms here. End of the trail. This is it. The end of the road. What a gorgeous view they had. Yeah. Honestly, I would live here. I would absolutely live here. <laughs> More exposed fire pit. Yeah, I like that. You can see, you can the, see the suit on top there, yeah. yeah. Even up there, I mean, look how much is up there. That's a good point, yeah. Ages and ages of soot from fires being lit, lit inside the caves here. Super cool.
Our ancestors are still alive. They can go anywhere. And we're done. <laughs> Loop completed. Just gotta hit the bridge back. We're gonna have a little snack before we do a little exploratory round down the West Fork River Trail. The map that is no more. That's kind of cool though. Two super volcanoes made up the wilderness. Oh wow. We are on the Bursum Caldera, or in the Bursum Caldera. Huh. Here we are. Gonna do a little bit of a West Fork Trail bit here. Let's get to it. You can see we're coming through a little bit of an aspen grove here. Unfortunately, since it's mid-December, all of the leaves have fallen. They have this absolutely gorgeous, brilliant, golden yellow color in mid-October all throughout the Rocky Mountains. It's absolutely glorious. You gotta see it. have immediately come across quite a substantial river crossing here. You can see the trail right there continues. We don't have our crocs with us today so we're planning on skirting the edge here for a little and then we'll just turn around when it gets a little sketchy. I think this is the right way. <laughs> well, obviously it's not. <laughs> That's almost thumbnail worthy. Almost huh? Almost thumbnail worthy. I think you gotta do the yeah, definitely. <laughs> but the people love you, but okay, this is the end of the trail for us today. <laughs> you can see the West Fork River down below us. The sun is setting within an hour or so here. You can see up to the cliff dwellings as well. They were just around that tip right there. We are gonna make our way back down this sketchy cliff here and then head back to the car and the campsite. Shit, what a turn. And there she is, Honda Honda. And we are back at the Upper Scorpion Campground. Lots of lovely picnic tables, vault toilets, and you can see we're only like a thousand feet away from the end of the road, the trailhead. There's the cliff dwellings right there behind me. It was really cool seeing the cliff dwellings. It's incredible that they were built over 800 years ago. We got a big hike planned for tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. If you're enjoying the content, do us a big favor and subscribe down below, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. In the next video, we cross the ice cold middle fork of the Gila River 16 times to reach the Jordan Hot Springs. Stay tuned. <laughs>